Hey everybody, Mr. Macintosh here and Mac OS Big Sur 11.5 is out and available to all users. I went through this update and picked out all the new features and changes that matter to you. And I'm gonna compare it against 11.5 and 11.4 in under five minutes. We got a lot to cover, let's jump in and get started. Okay, let's quickly go over the technical details of the update. As you can see, this Mac is already updated to 11.8. The update sizes usually will show up like this in the update. If you look at this, it'll say Mac OS 11.5 11.5 is 2.93 gigabytes, but when you hit install now, it'll start to download. There's an actual number, and you can see actual is 3.84, so it's usually a little bit larger than what they report there. Keep track of all the update size and the actuals right here in my article. The Apple Silicon firmware update also was updated to 6723.140.2, and the T2 Bridge OS update for 2018 and 19 and 20 T2 Max was updated to 1860. 14759. I've got a link to all of the full installers that are available directly from Apple here. You can download the install assistant that's directly from Apple. Inside that package is the full installer app. One click and you got the full installer. If you've got an M1 Apple Silicon Mac, the 11.5 update is available in an IPSW restore file for you to be able to restore your M1 Mac to factory fresh. Now let's also talk about some applications that got an update. Safari also gets updated. In the security updates, it's updated updated as a separate install. So the update for 11.5 is 14.1.2 and there's no changes that I can see in Safari so far. Sure. Now let's talk about some of the new features of the 11.5 update. First of all, there's some new splash screens on welcome screens in two apps. We've got a new welcome screen in the podcast app and I'll show you what that looks like on 11.5 and I'll show you what that looks like in 11.4. And you can see that 11.4, it talked about Siri suggestions and and in 11.5, it talks about Apple Podcast subscriptions. Unlock premium subscriptions with ad-free listening, extra episodes, and more. There's also a brand new tab in the 11.5 version of podcasts under the shows in the library. So if we click on shows, and as long as you have something downloaded in here, you'll actually see the new tab. So if you go back to shows over 11.4, you see that there's no way, ability to see all the shows. So if you can see, I followed this one as a test, and you can click all and you can see all the podcasts and this is the other one the mac admins podcast that i downloaded so you can see all of your podcasts so that's a neat little feature other small change is the app store splash screen you can see that the text change on 11.4 it says learn how developers handle your data and app product pages see your game center and friends but on the new 11.5 it gives you more information about discovering new downloaded apps for iphone ipad and your mac so that's a little bit of a change another fix was in the music app if you you kept track of the last play count and the last play date in your library over here, the plays is in there, but the last plate has to actually be added through right clicking on the menu bar and adding that. Those are now keeping track. Now I wanna get into the real mean potatoes of this update because Apple put a lot of enterprise, school, and business fixes in here for Mac OS 11.5. First, we'll go over some of the new features. Apple added two features for mobile device management to be able to add a device lock with a six digit pin to Apple M1 Apple Silicon devices. Before that wasn't even a possibility. All you could do is send activation lock to it and that would be the only way to lock it. Previously on Intel Macs you could do both. You could send a pin lock to it from your server and you can also do an activation lock. The community asked Apple for this and they added it which is great. Apple also gave the ability for an MDM server to be able to send a firmware password to an Apple M1 Mac before or this, you could only set a firmware password on an Intel Mac. Now you might say, well, why would I wanna do this as a business or a school? The reason is on an M1 Mac, you can boot to recovery and then you can actually erase the Mac from the main screen, even if you have it file vaulted. Oh, now keep in mind, the reason why we might not wanna do that is if let's say the employee does something wrong and there's data on the laptop that needs to be grabbed by the company or police that stops them from being able to do that. It also stops them from being able to get past the password prompt as an administrator and they could go in there and then just create another partition that's unmanaged, install an operating system, out 
outside of the company management system. So the firmware password will block that and it's a great new feature that Apple added. Unfortunately, it's only available for MDM servers. You can't run a command like you could on Intel Macs, but again, it's a great feature. And last but not least, the 11.5 update took care of a bunch of security fixes. I've left a link in the description if you wanna take a look at all those. And that's the 11.5 update. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.